So adventure games have been a massive passion of mine ever since the golden days of stuff like Planetfall, Zork and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yes, alright, I really am that bloody old. While other kids were busy beating each other with sticks outside, I was hunched over a keyboard in the dark typing in commands like use the glittering wand of destiny on the disagreeable troll. And in retrospect, who was cooler? Yeah, it was definitely them. Anyway, as a result, here on TechSpurt, I will occasionally be rounding up my pick of the best point-and-click adventure games that you can play right now, starting with my favourite PC and Mac adventure games of 2018. And for more videos on tech, smartphones, apps, and all kinds of random shenanigans, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Unavowed. Developer Wadjet Eye has crafted some of the best point and click titles of this century, and the latest is Unavowed, a gritty supernatural adventure that resembles their earlier Blackwell titles in many ways. You control a squad of misfits called the Unavowed, roll credits, whose job it is to investigate paranormal shenanigans around modern day New York City. A series of interconnected cases lead you all over Manhattan and beyond, while a sinister central plot gradually emerges and keeps you gripped throughout. Without spoiling anything, things get pretty dark at times, but like Wadget Eye's other adventure games, there's plenty of wry humour to lighten things up, and the characters are all brilliantly realised, with interesting backstories and some strong voice acting to really bring them to life. Even the spirit of a young girl, which is literally portrayed by a bob and ball of light that can't speak, has more personality than many other video game characters these days. If you're after one of the best story-driven PC adventure games of 2018, look no further. Unavowed is thoroughly entertaining, although interactivity is somewhat limited and the difficulty level is definitely on the chilled side. Unforeseen Incidents I do love me a good post-apocalyptic adventure game, and Unforeseen Incidents is one of my favourite point-and-click titles released so far in 2018. Crafted by German indie team Backwards Entertainment, Unforeseen Incidents casts you as a loser tech nerd who spends way too much time playing with gadgets in his bedroom. What? What are you looking at me for? Anyway, this fella finds himself forced into action when pretty much everyone in his town is suddenly and violently wiped out by a nasty new virus. Turns out this killer plague has been willfully spread around the place by the same shady organisation that's supposed to be keeping it in check. And of course, only you can stop their nefarious plots. Despite the grim subject matter and dramatic turn of events, Unforeseen Incidents has plenty of light humour to keep things bright and breezy, kinda like Unavowed. Sure, the plot isn't anything particularly original, but the characters are entertaining and the artwork is sublime, all sharp angles and pastel colours. And most importantly, the puzzles are smart and very well integrated into the game. Factor in the generous length, and Unforeseen Incidents is one of the best point-and-click adventure games released this year. Miasma or the Devil's Stone Although much maligned back in the day, I've always had a very soft spot for FMV adventure games, and believe it or not, full motion video adventures are still alive and kicking in 2018. Miasma or the Devil's Stone may have a bit of a clunky title, but it does hark all the way from merry old Hungary, so we'll let it off a bit, especially as it's a thoroughly entertaining cheese fest. The story is of course suitably bonkers, casting you as a journalist turned detective whose latest missing person case swiftly evolves into a hunt for a chunk of space rock. You get to visit all kinds of locations, all shot beautifully by the director. There's some seriously decent production values in here, so it definitely doesn't look like it was simply shot in the developer's back garden. The actors do an applaudable job too, bringing life to the often eccentric characters. Many FMV adventures get bashed for completely forgetting to include any actual gameplay, and while Miasma's interface is pretty damn simple, just point and click basically, there are plenty of meaty puzzles to wrap your brain around. Overall, most enjoyable. Stay. It's a scenario we're all familiar with. You wake up face down on the floor with a pounding head and no memory of the previous night with the scent of stale urine filling your nostrils. Tequila, it's the devil's drink. This is the unfortunate situation faced by Quinn, the main character of new adventure game Stay from award-winning Spanish devs The Abnormals Team. However, Quinn's tragic state wasn't self-induced. Rather, he was attacked by some unknown antagonist in the middle of the night and not senseless. When he regains consciousness, he finds himself trapped alone in a pitch black room, with only a glowing computer screen for company. Now in Stay, you don't actually play as Quinn. Rather, you are you, the only other person that Quinn can contact using that computer. Your only means of communication, at least to begin with, is a computer chat window complete with a live video feed, so you can see the poor bugger squirm and react in real time. The conversation is all text-based, although you can't actually type out full replies a la Starship Titanic for instance. Instead, your replies are limited to just two or three multiple choice options. Now, we've seen adventure games similar to this in the past, where you're not actually in control of the main character, rather you simply guide them by saying or doing certain things. That lack of direct control can be quite unnerving, or even upsetting. You just want to scream through your PC monitor, come on you morpy git, get a move on. Of course, doing so would be a very bad move indeed. 
You see, State isn't just about directing another emotionless being to solve puzzles and plan his escape. During the course of the adventure, you'll also have to keep Quinn's emotional levels in check. Unsurprisingly, for a man who's attacked in the middle of the night and wakes up alone in a dark and terrifying room, he's a wee bit on edge. Not to mention the fact that he is riddled with guilt and all kinds of emotions. Show him a bit of sympathy and camaraderie and he'll loosen up a bit and begin to trust your instincts. You'll have to watch him closely, however, to work out exactly what he is thinking or feeling at any given time. Thankfully, you can at least check out a handy display which gives you a brief overview of Quinn's mood, plus how well you two are bonding. As well as simply chatting with Quinn and dishing out advice, you'll also occasionally be called upon to solve puzzles. This helps to add a bit of variety and these brain teasers are generally quite well designed, even if their implementation in the game world doesn't really make total sense. One of the more unique gameplay mechanics is the real-time element. This is a game that never stops. You can't ever pause it, so every time you actually sod off to stroke the cat, empty your bladder, or kick back with a come dine with me marathon, Quinn is basically sat there all in his lonesome waiting for your return. Stay away too long and his mental state will degrade. Plus there is the small matter of a countdown timer and what actually happens when it finally hits zero. These combined factors will keep your hands glued to your keyboard, at least if you're anything like us. There are 24 chapters in all, but thankfully they're quite short. A complete playthrough will take just a few hours in total, making it a good choice for a quiet evening in. Plus, with plenty of secrets to discover and 7 different endings in total, there's some solid replayability here. We just wish that there was some easy way to make text appear instantly instead of waiting for Quinn to type it all out, although admittedly that would kinda dent the realism a bit. Paradigm Okay, so this one did actually come out in 2017 technically, but I didn't get the chance to play it until 2018, so I'm sticking it in here to pad out this video a bit. Sue me. Okay, so where to begin? Paradigm is probably the bad craziest adventure game since Day of the Tentacle, but it's also one of the most entertaining point and clickers of 2018. You play as a friendly mutant called Paradigm, roll credits again, whose primary passion is EDM, until one fateful day when he finds himself pitted against the evil genetics company that birthed him which just happens to be fronted by a beady-eyed sloth who doubles as a hairy candy vending machine. With me so far, yeah? Highlights include going on a raunchy date with a toaster, joining forces with a glam metal loving pug, and conversing with a beatboxing eggplant. This game is definitely madder than a barrel of monkeys, and it's absolutely sublime, although don't really expect much of a challenge. The game is very entertaining for sure, but as long as you're paying a bit of attention, you shouldn't have any trouble making it to the end credits. I've actually seen a lot more great adventure games released on the Nintendo Switch as well as on the iPhone and for Android devices as well so far in 2018, so stay tuned for my roundups of those. And once more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Thanks, love you, bye!